Okay, so this is different. Uh, obviously, I'm not in my room tonight. Had to come to another city for a conference. So I have probably spent the last oh, 20 minutes now trying to figure out how to do this. I wanted to just have it pictured on the box. I have my my altar cloth I brought along. I thought, oh, how special won't that be? I can just lay it all nice out on the, no, not, not going to work for me tonight. In fact, I ended up having to go over and get the ironing board just so that I would have some place to put my iPad or my tablet. Ah, I really wish I would have just done this at home before I left. Anyhow, after much awaited suspense, it is here. So I'm going to dig right into it because it is getting kind of late. I do have to get up in the morning and do the business thing. You know how that goes. Anyway, so let's just jump right into it. So I'm going to start off as I usually do. And we had such a beautiful day today and I had to travel for a portion of it and that wasn't very much fun. Starts with this card. It says crystal bath. Hold your favorite crystal close to your eyes and imagine you are walking down a flight of stairs to a beautiful crystal bath with healing waters. Whatever comes to your mind as you are moving to your bath, let it, let it arise and guide you to a deeper feeling within you. It might feel raw, but allow yourself to ease into it. Like a hot bath, it may sting a little to start with, but when you eventually sit in it, it feels so soothing. Step into your crystal bath and be healed and soothed by your revitalizing waters. Allow all that comes up to be there. And begin to experience yourself on a more intimate level. Surrender to the process and release all resistance. Feel free as wave after wave of healing, soothing crystal, liquid light, and love flows over and within you. Stay here for as long as you want. When you feel ready, open your eyes and see your world through crystal clear eyes. Looks backwards to me. Is it backwards for you guys? Well, I don't know. We'll just move right along. I like to do that. I went in to order my glasses today, my new, my new frames. Um, I thought I was seeing really well. Um, I knew I was having a little trouble, but the strength in one eye went from 150 to 220 in just a couple of years. So I've really been missing a lot and I'm actually looking forward to being able to read a whole lot better and see things a whole lot better and not listening to my husband say, you need to have your eyes checked. So yeah, anyhow, moving right along. I don't know why, but today when I was there, I was kind of in a rush and I, she would, I would ask her a question and she'd say, start to say something. And I knew what she was going to say. I mean, I, I would have it figured out by the time she would barely get the words out. And I'd go, oh, right, 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 right. And I just kept doing that. I've never done that before. So I don't know what was going on with me. But I will say that I think, I think I was just in a rush, but I don't know. I've never ever said those that like that to people before. So weird. Um, so I don't know how best to do this. If we should go right down one by one or just pick up what was first on the list or first in the box. Um, so um, I'm just going to go with first in the box. I'm not really sure which direction this goes, but it's a sigil. We know that much, don't we? So while you guys enjoy the, the, the beautiful sigil, I'm going to hunt down what it's all about. Ooh, a lot of this is about the green man. Oh, he's my favorite. Uh, let's see here. Oh, please tell me it's here. Transformation Sigil. Okay, so I'm going to read this. 
I know usually I don't, but I think maybe sometimes people like to hear. I think it goes that way. I don't know. It doesn't have an arrow anywhere. It's blank on the back, so I'm not really sure, and it doesn't really give a picture, so I think it doesn't matter. And a sigil is a sigil, and I don't really think there's an upside down to it or sideways. I think whatever you feel is best for you or whatever works for you, as Jen might say, whatever works for you works for you. And that's kind of how I like to live mine. So let me tell you a little bit about the sigil. We have created the sigil, 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 for the very intention of promoting a transformative lifestyle. As you meditate or recreate this sigil, allow the unconscious guidance of its energy to knowingly push you toward change. We have spent many days meditating and working with our guides to provide this copy of the original hand-painted transformation sigil for you to work upon. I like this one. I do. I think it's got a lot to it. I'd never be able to figure out how they did it or, or you know, what, what they were thinking, but I just, I really like this one. I think it's really pretty, and I think, I think I like it this way with the arrow that goes up, and then this looks like, you know, when you have an arrow and you have those, I don't know what they call the weights or the feathers on the end, it kind of looks like that. Now, I'm probably having it upside down, but I don't care, because like I said, I think whatever works for you works. All right, what's next? The Oak King, somebody was listening to my videos. I was saying I have a five by seven book of shadows and that those big pages, the eight by tens, don't really fit in my book. And so it's gonna be difficult to fill my book with these, but somebody was listening. So thank you, Witch's Moon. I greatly appreciate these five by sevens. Perfecto. Okay, so the Oak King Book of Shadows artwork. The beautiful hand-drawn and decorated Book of Shadows page was created exclusively for the Witch's Moon by our inspiring artist, A.E. Alden. As stated within the wisdom that is portrayed, the Oak King is the personification of the waxing year, a time of renewal and regrowth. As the spirit of the sun, he represents the return of light and the victory over the somber winter. He inspires us to live fully and enjoy the gifts and the, the gifts great and small. I read that right, yeah? Oak okay. King. Yeah, <clears throat> because <laughs> there's a Holly King. Oh, yep, Holly King. These pages are just beautiful, aren't they? I love, love, love these. They've, they've got that antique look. You know what? This is the first time I've done this, but I'm going to do it. See how they look without the plastic. Without the, uh, still, still has a little shine, but not, not really too bad. Oh, cool. And then it's not a thick, it's, you know, so I could glue this right in and this would fit perfect. Yay. So that's the cardboard piece. Okay. Um, the Holly King. Let me read you what it says there. Holly King Book of Shadows artwork. This beautiful hand-drawn and decorated Book of Shadows page was created exclusively for the Witch's Moon by our inspiring artist A.E. Alden. Okay, that was the same. As stated within the wisdom that is portrayed, the evergreen Holly King is the personification of the waning year. As it defines divine spirit of transformation he represents the natural cycles of change in the forms of darkness death and decay change is an integral component of new growth and personal improvement the holly king acts as a tutelary i don't know what that i don't know what that means another word i'll learn i guess okay lost my place tutelary guide through the shadowed lands of our own fears and despair I really do like these. Yay. And then it has all of, you know, all of the information. I really do. I love the five by seven so much. Thank you, Witch's Moon. They must be some special people. They really listen to our comments, I guess. Okay, so let's um, dig into the box. This week, or this month, it has bright orange paper. 
And I've been saving all of the little stuffings. I do in every every gift I ever receive, but like I receive gang, you know, gobs of these, but when I do, I save always save this stuff. I love that stuff. It makes I like to reuse it. Okay. So right on top we have this is a tea bag, so we know that there's gonna be tea. And I'll have to admit I didn't try the tea, the last one. I, I'm I'm going to. I just things have been kind of hectic and um, and a little tough for me emotionally, which I probably should have drank it then. All right, so let's take a look here. Red clover. Give me a minute. Mm -hmm. Red clover. Uh, the beauty that lies within the crop of the red clover bears much deeper wisdom and aid than is apparent. Okay, maybe I do need my glasses, my new ones. Known for its pain-relieving attributes. Oh, then it goes right up my alley. This helpful herb is a great companion while working to unload hurtful and damaging energetic experiences. Oh boy, I could really use this after last weekend. Mixed among tea blends and mojo bags, allow this emotional healer to accompany you on your travels through this upcoming reflective time of the year. Affirmation, I let go and heal, providing limitless space within my spirit to receive healing and transformative guidance. Nice, I like that. You know, I have to say every box just gets better and better. Okay, that smells like like a dried plant. Um, it's not sweet or anything, but you know, there's an there's no there's an odor, an aroma. I'm sure it's probably different in. Uh, are you supposed to drink that one? It doesn't. Yeah, it does. Mixed among tea blends. Okay. And you can put it in a mojo bag or drink it a little bit as tea. Okay, next one is orange peel. All right. Considered a wonderful divination and prosperity ingredient, orange peel has been used in many of our practices to help us in contacting our guides and opening the roads of love and luck on our path. As you place the orange peel amidst your love sachet mixtures, allow its energy and magnetic force to aid you in introducing self-loving energies into your healing transformations. Planetary influence, the sun, elemental influences, fire, and it is masculine. And that smells really good. That smells really good. It smells like orange. Yum, yum. All right. I wonder if this isn't um, the tea tea. Harvest, yep. Harvest sunset herbal tea. You can see there's, maybe you can. Yeah, see. The lighting in here just blows. But you can see there's some orange peel in there, and I'm not going to open it because then it's not going to, it'll be stale when I go to use it, I suppose. But yeah. This lighting sucks. I'm so sorry, you guys. All right. Anyhow, I'll share with you what it's all about. Harvest Sun Herbal Tea with Muslin Bag, inspired by the Sabbath of Mabin and the coinciding equinox. We have included the Harvest Sunset Herbal Tea within this collection. Also a reflective blend of herbs. The Harvest Sunset Tea was created for use in celebration. As Mabin marks a time of thanksgiving and gratitude, we take a moment to ponder the countless blessings they have been gifted upon us during the past months. As you sip the easing scents and flavors of this herbal blend, find comfort and joy in the experiences that have brought you such happiness. The Harvest Sunset Tea was created with lemon peels, orange peels, and rose hips. Oh, and I love lemon. That is like my most, oh, most favorite fruit in the whole wide world. I could eat those every day, all the time. I love lemons. But 
I'll bet this is going to taste really yummy. And maybe after a full day sitting at a, in an uncomfortable chair in my conference, this might feel really good. Come home and have home, well, yeah, and have some tea. So thank you, Witches Moon. All right, let's uh, keep going. Okay. All right. This is an orange rolled. I'm just... I'm like a two-year-old when it comes to these rolled candles. I actually um, purchased some um, from Amazon to roll my own. So I'll be interested to see if I can do as good as they do. All right, so this is Silent Reflection. Just some symbols on it. I'm not sure what the symbols are. Is there writing underneath? Because I don't want to rip it all up and, and not be able to read it if there's a spell in there. Um, it's not on this page or so. Candle, candle. Mm, it's got like a spicy orange smell. Silent reflection spell candle. Okay, so here we go. Now you can see it. I just love that. I've never, I, I don't ever, I don't want to burn them because they look so pretty. I'm afraid to burn them, but I'm going to have to do that. I've kind of been keeping them for special, special, but I should probably just use them. Mmm, that smells wonderful. Okay. Silent Reflection Spell Candle. We have hand-rolled and anointed this, this Silent Reflection Spell Candle with the intention of providing a cleared state of consciousness while working to delve into the darkest side of your character and preconceived judgments of the world around you. Ew, that sounds kind of scary to me. This time is to this time to self is truly sacred and must be acted upon as such. Before you sit to ignite the flame, clear your thoughts and attune your attune your surroundings. This may involve clearing the energy around you, adding ambient music to your surroundings, or simply calling upon the divine to assist you in entering a truly silent state of existence. Once the flame has been lit, Allow yourself to naturally drift into the most recent months, landing upon specific decisions that may have guided you toward the path that you stand upon at this moment. As you replay these experiences during this time of quiet, allow messages and signs to drift into your internal conversations. We have anointed this spell candle with the oils of clove, cedarwood, and the shadow work magical anointing oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Mmm. It really does. I don't know that I really smell. I, I, I'm not real familiar with cedar wood on its own. I have um, some essential oil that's got a mix of cedar oil or cedar wood. Uh, I, I guess I do, but I don't think I've opened it to actually smell it all by itself. But this, this smells divine so i cannot wait to have a little me time and be able to look back and reflect all right what's next the renewal sacred salt i hope somebody will post comments and let me know do you want me to read through all the information or not? In the past, I haven't really. I've just kind of given you some little blips about what it was. Um, but like I said, I, I would like to try something different, so I thought I would just read them. And if you guys don't like them, let me know. I, I, I want to make a video that people are going to want to watch. And if you're not going to want to watch it, then it doesn't really do me any, you know. I, I mean, I like doing it for me, but I, I like to help others, and I like to, I like to make people feel good. And if it would make you feel good to have me read them, then, and then I'll do that. Otherwise, you know, if that's not what you want, I won't do that. I, I did watch somebody else's video, and they had, uh, it was just on, the, the camera was on the table. And that's what I tried to do originally tonight, but that didn't work. So um, for now, I'm going to do it like I would normally do it. And then maybe next time I'll be prepared for... Um, to do it on a table without me in the in the camera. I, you know, I like to say I'm a ham and I enjoy the camera, but as I get older, I, I don't really enjoy it as much. Um, 
as some of you may get the same feeling. Okay, so... Renewal Sacred Salt. As with many clearing and cleansing rituals, the act of washing and bathing ourselves is a sacred practice. We have created the Renewal Sacred Salt with the intention of assisting you in the visualization process of washing away stagnant and unwanted energies from your aura. Mm, I, I might be able to just use this sooner than I think. As you sit with the visualization process, washing away, oh yeah, I just read that. Earthly ingredients in this sacred salt allow your mind to let go of all the thoughts and preconceived perspectives. This time of tranquility is created so that you may emerge from the waters of change, recharged and surrounded by brilliant light. We have enchanted this sacred salt and teach with tea tree, rosemary, and lemongrass oils, as well as willow, rosemary, and lemongrass herbs. We've also included a special mixture of our born again magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the making of this sacred salt. Yes, I'm gonna have to smell it. Mmm, oh my gosh, all the smells. This smells a little, you can smell the spice, like almost like a, it must be the clove. But this smells divine. I, I know I said that about the other, but it really does, it smells great. I'm gonna look forward to this one. I'm just not gonna do it in a hotel, because you, know, you never know if they really wash them. I used to work in a motel, and I knew girls that, didn't. I knew girls that didn't even make the bed or didn't even pull the sheets off. They just pulled them up tight and tried to straighten them out and threw the blanket over them. Gross. Really gross. And this is not a four-star hotel, which is really gross. This is one of those times you always, I, I used to always like to go to a hotel because it was fun and it was new and now I don't like it anymore because I'm so much more comfortable in my own home. Um, it feels strange in a strange place. I imagine you can all relate. Okay. Incense, always another of my favorite. Oh, that smells like, like there's cinnamon in there. Oh, I'm loving that. Let me find it, let me find it. Warmth of the Seasons Incense Sticks. We have included this wonderful seasonal incense with this collection to bring warmth and comfort to your surroundings during times of meditation and shadow work. As you allow the smoke to drift through your sacred area, allow its protective energy to communicate with your aura. And it does. I'm, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself, but this smells so divine. Divine? I don't care. I will love this one. I gotta get some baggies that some incense baggies. Maybe I can snag a few the next time I'm at the store where I pick them up. Keep them separate. Otherwise they can start to smell like each other, but that smells so good. Okay, so now I have... Okay, uh, no, I'm going to do this one first. I always like the little surprises. So what do we have here? Honey calcite. Ooh. I like that. I have some orange calcite. Um, it's really bright orange. This is more of a yellow honey color. I suppose, hence the name, duh. Sometimes I'm not as bright as I think I am, maybe. That's got a lot of different color in it. Some really dark, and then there's some light. Around. That's beautiful. That really is beautiful. I love that. You know, the more I get these boxes, the more I'm liking them. Okay, so honey calcite, a very grounded stone. The honey calcite brings an abundance of benefits to one's rituals and meditations. A stone of clarity and insight, this beautiful earthly stone is a great assistant while working to open the psychic eye. During such a reflective time of the year, this beautiful stone is a great tool to use during divination and shadow work. Rituals as you, shadow work rituals, period. Okay, yeah, need glasses. As you sit with the grounded energy of the honey calcite, allow your focus to easily pinpoint the direction of your needed intentional settings. Affirmation, 
I work as if one with my purpose, carving and creating the energy that paves the path before me, unbothered and undistracted. The elemental influence is fire and wind. The chakra influence is his road, uh, root, solar plexus, and the third eye. And I wish the lighting were better in here because I know you would just say, oh my gosh, that is just beautiful. You, I mean, you could almost, that just is so pretty. I don't have one of these, so that's great. I love it when I get one that I don't have. And pretty much every one I've gotten so far. Yeah, yeah, the last one was, the. I think the last one was a big piece of, no, the one before was a big piece of um, soda light. And I have some small pieces and they're tumbled. But I don't have a raw piece like the one I got in the box. So I, I like the fact that they, you know, give you, because I think I've gotten tumbled st stones the first couple of times maybe. Um, so they kind of give you a variety. And um, I'm liking it. I really am. All right. Better put it back in the little baggie. I brought some other crystals with me in my altar. I'll have to, maybe I'll have to show you that. I uh, picked up a little chest with a little, you know, like a swing handle. I could probably almost use it as a purse. But anyway, I, I'm going to get off subject if I go there. Okay, so. Dig around, dig around. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's this? Oh, okay. You will all know what this is. I won't have to tell you. Oh, I like it. Hang on here. <clears throat> it's a branched candle snuffer. So, see it looks like it's a branch. I don't know if that, no, it's metal. Good way to tell, just bite on it whatever sound it makes, but it looks like a branch. I hate the lighting in here. I'm so sorry about that. But, yeah. I don't have one like this. Most of mine are brass. Um, so that's nice. I like that. Okay, so, um, as to offer... Another symbol of the natural cycle, we have included a branched candle snuffer to keep close by as you gently cap the top of your lighted candle. The oxygen will be cut from the flame, extinguishing the light created to last for many, many seasons. Candle snuffer can be a great addition to your daily ritual tools, and it will be. Put that over here. Let's put all that away later when I'm not visiting with you nice folks. Oh, I just love opening stuff. It's like Christmas once a month. And save this bubble wrap. My grandchildren love it. It's kind of noisy, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. A tea light candle holder. Green man candle holder with a glow. Oh, okay. Duh. Okay, so sometimes the blonde takes over and I... And I let it. You know, for a long time, it it really did me. Um, it was a good service to me, the blonde, the ditzy stuff. It got me out of a lot of uh, speeding tickets, other traffic tickets. Stop sign? I didn't see a stop sign. Really? Where is it? But then as I get older, uh... I don't want people to think I'm ditzy, and it's already too late for some people. Some people think I'm too far gone and I'm ditzy, but I do have some stuff up here. My husband even said to me the other day, you know, you just don't give yourself credit. I said, you better be careful because I tend to be one of those all-in kind of people. So, um, yeah, if he says they don't take enough credit, then I'm probably going to take a whole lot of credit for a lot of things that maybe aren't even my doing. So... You gotta watch the size of my head. So this is a Green Man candle holder, and this piece was the glass insert that goes right in here. Love this. I love the Green Man. In fact, um, out where I work, they planted some new trees, and I don't know. Um, the last time I saw a real oak tree with 
um, acorns. This one's got some. See? It's got really good detail. Look at that face. It's just beautiful all the way around. So there's not like a blank spot on it. So there's a branch coming out back here and up here. And, and it even looks like a tree inside. It's got the rings. Loving this. Loving this. You guys have outdone yourself this time. I love that. That goes so well with the branch snuffer. Do you need somebody to promote your business? <laughs> All right. I'm kind of in a goofy mood. Maybe because I'm really tired. I've been up since about 4 o'clock. Yeah. And so I'm all ready to crash. Anyhow. So it looks like the last thing I have in here. Do you know what I really, really enjoy in these boxes? That I've, I've, I've gotten several pieces. I really love the jewelry. I, I wear my um, pentacle. This one I got because um, sometimes I need to be a little more subtle as opposed to just that great big uh, pentacle. So I got this one thinking that um, that would be a little more subtle. Maybe people wouldn't, you know, had their eye wouldn't draw to it immediately. But I don't know. People who know it know it, right? And then I like to wear this. Um, this is a just a little glass vial. Oh, come on. And I usually keep. I usually keep lavender in here. Lavender and and um, amethyst, my two favorite, uh, my favorite herb and my favorite um, stone. And then this time I put in one apple seed because apple seeds are very magical. And if I could have fit three in there, I would have put three in there because that's usually what I do is I do things by threes. Um, but anyway, way off track. And my mouth is getting dry. And my knees are starting to hurt because I'm I'm old. Oh, let me stretch them out. I, I bet you're getting to know me a little bit better now. I'm I'm I, I I just get I get real friendly when I get tired, apparently. I share more of my personality. Okay, so this is Green Man Anointing Oil. Oh, I just love their oils. I mean, look at that. Just look at all the different ingredients in there. They just do a lovely job of that. I just love their oils. Um, I used the some of the banishing and some of the castaway oil that I received in the last few um, subscriptions when I made my uh, homemade beeswax candles, which actually turned out really well. Or so I thought. I brought one with me to the hotel and I lit it. It was, um, that one in particular wasn't a banishing, but it was um, had lavender and dried rosemary. And, and the dried rosemary that I dried and, and pulled off. And um, it was probably lit maybe 20 minutes. And all of a sudden, the whole top was just, it's, a, it's just a small um, canning jar about that big around. And the whole thing looked like a bonfire because all the, all of the, um, Rosemary caught on fire. I thought, oh crap, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna catch a hotel room on fire and then I'm really gonna be in trouble. Okay, so anyway, you can see there are big pieces of whatever it is, and I'll share that with you as soon as I find what it is. Oh, right here. You know, today has just kind of been one of those days. Um things have just been falling right into place for me. And I don't know if it's because Today was the beginning of the palindromes for the next 10 days, because I see that as really lucky. But things have just been kind of working out for me today. The Green Man Magical Anointing Oil created with the intention of inducing positive change. I am lost already. A positive change upon the wearer. The Green Man Magical Anointing Oil is true is a true tool to bring honesty and truth into your daily reflections. Nope. <laughs> I'm tired. Into your daily realm. 
As you anoint your skin, jewelry, or ritual tools, be sure to maintain your intention at the forefront of your thoughts and emotions. It is truly necessary to visualize while you anoint any magical item, including the self. Uh, I lost my place again. As this is a needed ingredient during any spell work, we have enchanted this magical oil with cedar and clove oils and have included willow bark, oak bark, and cedar wood as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lemurian quartz said to personify oneness into your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our transformation magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into this mixture. Very nice. Hi, you know what? That was the last thing in the box. I was really having fun. My, I'm, I'm over 30 minutes. And that for me is, that's a long time. Usually 20 minutes, bam, I'm gone. So please tell me if you prefer to have me read what these things are all about and what ingredients they are. Oh, we didn't smell it. We need to smell it. Ooh. I wish you could smell it because, oh, there you go. Because, man, this is a very potent witch's moon box. Yep, and that is the last item. And the one from last time with the aura spray, I actually brought that with me today because, um, you know, I'm in an unknown space in this hotel, and I was in an unknown car. So I think it kind of helped, um, helped me to you know stay on the road and pay attention and all that good stuff. But anyway, uh, I I believe I'm really enjoying these boxes, and I gotta say, every time they surprise me by doing something a little different. That Green Man candle holder, how awesome is that? I love that. I think I could put this one. I have. Um, the green goddess, the, the tea light one where she's doing this and there's a tea light candle up here. Putting these guys on the altar together, you know, as one representation, two representations. Love, love, love this. Okay, so looks like that is it, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed my 37, almost 38 minute video. Okay. Um, I hope you have a blessed evening and a blessed day tomorrow and a blessed full moon on Friday, Saturday, uh, and enjoy.